the International Junior Holstein Show. We'd like to recognize our Red Note Award winner, entry number 139, Rocky Top Dundee Ashley, submitted by Matthew Mitchell of La Follette, Tennessee. Placing third in the class is entry number 138, Salem Sovereign Alice, exhibited by Kaylee Godman and Tyler Williamson of Daleville, Indiana. Second in the class is entry number 152, Bud John Danny's Gold Atlas, exhibited by Spencer Weimer of Emlinton, Pennsylvania. And our class winner is entry number 134, Miss Rachel Ray, exhibited by Anna and Emma Culbertson of Elgin, Minnesota. Congratulations. Judge Garrison, your comments on the class. Well, first off, I think congratulations to the young people. The young man at that end, you got a good heifer. I tell you, this is this is the class where you don't have to scratch your head and think, well, maybe we didn't need to have her here because each one of these heifers is, is quite a good heifer. I think equally we can say at the top end here, the, the quality is just exceptional, and I think this first effort for me was just a landslide winner in the class. She was the first one to ring. They tell me from show management that makes her the youngest in the class. I tell you, certainly you admire her the way she does uh, excel the class in that tremendous frame. But I'm sure we've got a lot of judging coaches and judging teams, and I hear this term dairy strength quite a lot nowadays, and this, for me, this heifer's got it. For me, that's one of the advantages she has over the heifer in second. You look at the capacity, the openness, the length to a rib that she has as compared to this tall, long heifer that I've got in the second spot. She just shows me that much more length to a rib, both for particularly rear rib, a little more flank than this heifer that we've got in the second spot. And that's the first heifer is just so balanced in quality and dairy to be on the class. For me, then, I think this second heifer, she fits kind of logically, maybe just a tick's different style heifer than the heifer that we've got with her. But I think she uses that different uh, length, that height that she has, that length of bone that she has in her front leg, overall stretch to go over this really deep rib heifer that I've got in third. The third heifer, I really admire that width and power and strength that she's got. She's a heifer that is just quite a lot more wider, stronger, more powerful kind of a heifer. She's got more width in her front legs. She's a wider heifer up through her front end. She fills in a little nicer in her crop. She's wider out over her top line than this uh, heifer in fourth. This heifer in fourth, when she wants to handle, she does give you a good look. She's clean, dairy, stylish. For me, she handles herself stronger in her loin. She's a heifer that's maybe just a little smoother blending out of the, uh, the, the top. And, keeps her pins down just a bit nicer than this black clean cut dairy heifer that I've got next in line. This black heifer uses that stretch, that angularity and quality and dairiness to go over another very correct, well-made uh, frame kind of a heifer next in line. But as I said, the rest of the heifers in this class of team, we've still got very straight line, neat, correct kind of heifers, heifers here towards the other end. Maybe maybe just not quite as open as there. You maybe change a couple of these larger heifers on their, on their feet and legs to move one off the class, but certainly congratulations to, uh, to a great class of heifers and certainly a great winner.